Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour reading. So this reading will go for the next 72 hours. It will be about love and career and finance, okay? So I have some shells pulled here. Let's see what the shells have to say for love, okay? The first shell says message. I wanna thank those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. I don't want that to go under appreciated. I do appreciate that. All the support. Uh, make sure you click the like button. Uh, so we have a message, okay? Then we have a heart. And then for love, we have <laughs> great body. So maybe you feel like someone has a great body or they feel like you have a great body. We have newborn baby. Hmm. And we have lack. So, that is very interesting. Um, let's clarify these cards to see what's going on for Aries in love. What card can you give us or what clarifying card can you give us, Lord God, for a message? What is this message about? Where is it coming from? What is this message about? Someone may want to message you something from the heart. Heartfelt message. Okay. So we have a six of cups. Someone is thinking about you. Maybe someone from your past. Someone. Um, someone is analyzing the, the situation, the relationship, the, the information around you around the re the relationship what you had someone is concerned about their health wealth and the fitness in their life or the lack thereof so you have lack it could be a cancer pisces scorpio this is someone who's trying to find balance by way of um analyzing analyzing the data what what is and what is not finding that maybe a, a situation a relationship a friendship with you is useful or, or they felt a sense of usefulness with you or in doing something with you there you are useful some something of that nature uh, they're romanticizing the the relationship, the the thoughts of the past thoughts of this could be someone wanting to come back. This message could be from someone you already know. Six of Cups. Okay. So heart. Give us one card for heart. Okay. Eight of Swords. So maybe this is a person who thinks about you constantly. It's the cyclical thoughts of you're on their heart, in their mind. They're stuck to uh, a position that involves you, but also stuck to something that they merge themselves in or submerge themselves in. Uh, this could be business. This could be another relationship. This is something that they're feeling tied and bound to, not able to see a way out of. And they can be giving you a heartfelt message, telling you that this is how they are viewing things. Uh, they may need friendship here, Seven of Swords. Um, they may need to, they may be feeling the loss of your friendship. You guys may be estranged with the six of cups coming out you may be estranged uh they can't stop thinking about you they know that they need to revise plans of action okay or revise how they took action or if they will take action so we have great body uh, let's see if that's you um, great body great body They could be thinking about your body. The eights, and it's the eight of swords that governs sex and intimacy. Uh, seven of pentacles, they could be 
like there's a standstill in regards to the relationship with you there is a halt there is um unnecessary worry here because there's still something built here there's still a foundation it's just someone analyzing and pruning this is the the analyzing the cutting away of what is not serving this is a person this could be the person you've come to the reading for or this is you who is saying you know I should be further along or this should not be or this could be or this is a person who is analyzing and then they're going to essentially make decision cut away the, the pruning in a relationship a marriage a business contract how this person is coming off to you maybe everyone else is contemplating before making decision okay let's see newborn baby newborn baby give me one card for me the two of swords so someone may be of two minds about a decision that needs to be made maybe there is a newborn baby maybe there is a child involved this could be someone burying their head in regards to making this decision feeling like they need a little bit more information or just shying away from making a tough decision here this is a person who needs to get some really good advice most time it's feminine advice uh, this is um, someone yeah needs to get under some spiritual mentorship this is confusion this is Sun and Libra could be dealing with a Libra if not the Libra is in this picture somehow uh, this is someone who's confused uh, because their heart and their mind are not aligned. Confusion is when you're not grounded. Uh, things are up in the air. This is a person who needs to sit with themselves. Get in quiet. Quiet place, sit. Sit outside, sit, ground your energy. You'll never be grounded in the coffee house, at work, amongst friends, family. Get by yourself and get some groundedness so that you can make a decision someone needs to make a decision here maybe in regards to a newborn baby uh, to stay or to go lack give me one card for lack princess of wands so this is a situation where good news could be coming in for you Aries or a message could be coming in we do have message uh, of someone wanting to go in a new direction. This is newness. This is new direction, new endeavor, just new altogether. And this could be someone saying they want to go in that direction with you or it involves you. This is a conditional statement. Um, if, like, if then, if you do, if then I'll. Uh, if you go, if you say, then, you know, so this is someone who is bringing that energy toward you. Let's see what the advice is for the Aries in regards to dealing with this situation or this person. All right, Aries, you've got the two of wands. You're at a crossroads, too. You need to move things forward about making a, a decision here. Are you staying or are you going? Which path are you going to commit to, an old one? or a new one uncharted territory or uh, familiar territory this is someone who's going to uproot their life and build somewhere else you can take it to the three of wands and more so look to expand you can take it back down to the ace of wands and start over uh, but you have to make a decision in which way you're going the advice for the aries nine of swords stop thinking negatively about maybe things not coming in for you or a message won't come in for you or goodness is not here for you or no one cares about you or no one loves you uh, that is not the uh, that is not 
the situation at all. Those are self-fulfilling negative prophecies. Come out of that anxiety and the mental frustration, the dark night of the soul. It happened. Whatever it is, it was. It happened. Uh, you're at the brink of getting to a place of releasing. Get to the Ten of Swords. Okay? Also, what just flipped over is the Fool card. The Sacred Clown or the Fool. This is you. Start over. Start anew. Go on a new path. And chart a new way of doing. This could, um, yeah, in love. You've done something the same for so long. Then here's you, the Emperor. The advice here is to get in control of this do something for you change something about your appearance about your demeanor you have done something for too long then the six of wands the emperor with the six of wands talks about the, a change in your environment and in your personal appearance uh, whether that is physical or uh, spiritual but something you're changing about yourself you're choosing to put a lot of attention energy into um, getting uh, accolades, getting praise for a job well done. Okay, um, some someone is choosing you. Something has been chosen for you, or some, yeah, someone is choosing you. Someone's gonna make the choice. Maybe some man. This is manly energy with a lot of money or business. Who is business savvy? Uh, will come in and give you a message of of needing to take action do think it through with the knight of swords here this man tries to make decision that is good for everyone involved but this is typically the married man this is a committed man um, this is someone who's financially set stable they may be telling you that they're moving a position moving their position okay um, that they've had a career change or are changing their career something of that nature the, and this could be you also it says keep doing what you're doing to have more success in business and for yourself change some aspect about yourself because this is advice for you also speak your truth in regards to whatever situation this may be uh, don't be too hasty allow the ending of the culmination the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck uh, you, you felt the betrayal the backstabbing the disappointment allow it to just subside uh, allow the healing process to begin as long as you live in it you never heal from it so we have in Aries that the advice is to allow ending okay for career and finance let's see we have smart nice we have home nice we have moving okay we have help Ooh, nice and we have business gosh Aries this is good we have marriage okay so starting a business can be like a marriage you are marrying yourself to Having success, doing all the work, being the one that uh, makes all of the decisions for advancement, for success. We have nothing but good cards here for you. Uh, smart. What is smart for the Aries? Okay. Flipped out Ace of Wands to get more motivated. Uh, advance yourself once again career advancement advancing yourself your everything about you this talks about inheritance um, health and wealth it even can encompass marriage but this talks about really uh, putting yourself first by way of having more motivation to do do something to get behind the passion it will be smart for you to get a makeover. I'm here and get do something uh, to where it looks as if you're taking steps or making strides to uh, promote yourself or and or your business. 
your business may be you. So something about that um, home. You might have moved home or you are moving. We got home next to moving and help. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You may have been working on this move for a while. You may have been back and forth in regards to maybe contracts, getting a loan, uh, selling assets, investments, money just coming in, other people's money. You may have been waiting for something to come in for you so you can move. It says that the work you have done will pay off here. Okay? So that's really good. Um, help. Who is helping the Aries? Nice. Five of Wands. So you may have some un unsuspected help or unexpected help more so. Um, you may have help from all avenues. There may be someone trying to get your attention by way of giving you a large sum of money or someone's trying to ward you off and make you stay in a particular neighborhood or area someone there's inner conflict about them mo you moving or them moving uh, but they they are helping you they're, they're helping you uh, maybe giving you a large sum of money but then there's also something being held back maybe their motivation question their motivation of why they're helping you so we have the business card, business, business, five of pentacles. So some of you may be not seeing the turnaround monetarily that you want to see in your business or there is lack here. There's lack of confidence in it moving forward and it being a sustainable business where you can sustain yourself and everything about you. Uh, this is uncertain self-employment here uh, I think you need to shift your energy also let me get one more card for, for business and five of pentacles shift your energy shift your mental there is help here you have to open your mouth you have to speak six of swords yeah there, there will be a more calm peaceful happy time you will move away from the turbulence but do know that self-employment is is a ride it is a boat ride it, it it can get wavy it can get rocky and then it can get it can be very calm very placid uh very peaceful uh very fulfilling and rewarding so do know that um let's see marriage we've got marriage here a business starting a business can feel like a marriage when we have six of pentacles so we have career advancement here we have money being given, gifts. Uh, maybe in your marriage, there there will be money given. There might be not such an even give and take here. There could be problems in this marriage. If you're already married, maybe do two money. We now have a four, five, and six of pentacles. This is someone who is trying to find balance. This is someone who maybe may bring in all the money in the marriage. And then there's someone who spends it or, or definitely knows what to do with it, right? Uh, let's get one more card on marriage and six of pentacles. The problem may be inequality. Uh, Queen of Swords. So this is someone who needs to speak their truth about uh, how they feel. This is someone who's being objective. Uh, someone is saying there's too much money going out. Not enough coming in. I can't continue to uh, move my business forward or take care of or do this or do that if I am still if I'm constantly spending on or giving you or making gifts of I'm hearing trips um, I can't do it uh, so there's someone who is talking very sternly very clear very sure about themselves in regards to the six of pentacles in the business someone's getting very real and honest with themselves knowing they have to make a decision in regards to where they're going to put all their energy and effort time to this is also someone who can't be divided anymore um this is someone who understands they're gonna have to marry themselves to a particular position somebody has two jobs or moonlights 
and does something else so yeah that's where that is um let's get the advice advice in career finance for Aries okay volunteer so volunteer how you feel or volunteer to gain more experience exposure uh, in career and finance volunteer that you need help uh, maybe moving or moving home or moving your business or you need help in your business okay uh, what is the advice for Aries in regards to love in regards to love and romance love and romance okay so we have don't stop whatever it is you're doing don't stop put yourself first Let's see what this person that you've come to the reading what they want to tell you we do have message and heart let's see what they want to tell you what does this person want to tell Aries what does this person want to tell Aries okay We've got quite a few. All right. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, Aries. This is, I think this will help you. What they want to tell you will help ease your mind if you guys are estranged okay um let's go over to the website and we're going to talk about these shells and then we're also going to clarify the shells in regards to what your person wants to tell you um <laughs> it very interesting okay all right so Aries, the link to get the extended reading is below. The link to also get the 72 hour reading, just like this for yourself, is below. The 72 hour reading will be exactly like this. I will pull cards for love and for career and finance. There are no questions asked. So you cannot ask me any questions. I'll just pull the general energy around you, send you the video. So it's just like this, okay? If you want to take advantage of that, that link is below also. If you feel like you need something else or you want to get me on the phone, uh, phone readings are on sale also. The 30-minute reading is on sale. Go over to the website, book there. Thank you, Aries. Take care.